Natasha did it. Oh, give me a break. It was obvious from the beginning. She was the old hollow poodle trick. Oh, yeah, right. Like you knew. Are you kidding? Guilt was all over her face like a day glow muzzle. A real detective always knows. Hello, reality check. Detective? Fun animal. Private eye? Poultry. <laughs> <laughs> workwear for fun folk. Out at the stable and straight to the table. Hmm. Uh, no, 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 no! That's too done, too ordinary. We need something that's never before been seen. Something, 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 something! Oh, what is that infernal, funny noise? Oh dear, something's bothering my hands. I better go check. Given me my brilliant idea yet. Keep 
Make your sunny side up, Cornelia. <laughs> Oops, bad choice of words. I mean, who could have poached this egg? <laughs> Sure wish that TV detective was here. He could solve this mystery in a minute. Mm -hmm. Detectives? Hmm. <coughs> What's going into her? Bad worms. Hey! Who turned off the color? Oh no! Farm noir! Huh? Scott? The name's Poet Marlowe. Mystery is my middle name. I thought it was Irma. It was a hot day in the henhouse. Too crazy hot. Hot enough to make a criminal stick to his story. First, he had to find one to grill. <laughs> What's up with you, poultry P.I.? I'll tell you what's up. I'm taking charge, and I'm cracking this egg-napping keeper. Uh oh Spot's getting delusional again. Let's hope this ends better than that ugly Swiss bell ringing incident. Enough yapping. Who's with me? Who's our suspect? We're with you. Good. Let's case the joint. <laughs> For our plan. Prince, Puppy Prince, and uh, Chicken Prince, and a feeder still in him! Ah! Spot, this is a farm. Those footprints are all ours. Minor detail. Uh, another clue. A feather. Now there's something you don't find in a hen house every day. <laughs> oh, wait, you do. <laughs> Not this kind of feather. Observe the size of the quill. Length of the barbs. This is the primary wing feather of a goose. Goose fur. Hey, remember what Lucy said yesterday? That's just what this farm needs. A big egg that'll make a big chick that'll make a big noise. I'll never get any peace and quiet. We have our first suspect. A disgruntled goose with a dislike for decibels. A goose who never wanted to see that egg hatch. Was acting suspiciously yesterday. Well, I remember everyone was excited about the egg. Uh, everyone except for Dumpling. She was only interested in eating. And, uh, that's a bad thing, right? But Dumpling also said something about the egg. Uh, what was it? <laughs> so it's a big egg. Who cares? I'm much bigger and getting bigger all the time. That's uh, not much to go on. But Cruella sure made a big deal about that big egg. I've just had the most extraordinary idea. I began to wonder what sort of crazy scheme that Cruella Dane might be cooking up. Perhaps a dinner party with deviled egg as the main course? Let's split up and investigate our suspects. Check it out. Yeah, but how are we gonna get past Ed Pig and Dumpling? Chad Pig's assignment? New state. This nest is big enough to hold two of Cornelia's eggs. I gotta get a look inside. My assignment? Cruella. I know that sneaking into Villa de Ville was risky, but I'm a private chick, and danger is my business. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
accessories that will have the public uh, scrambling to the stores. Those are very wise. An egg on her head, an egg on my face. Yes, the yolk was on me. I knew they were bad puns, but nothing mattered anymore. Oh, that's it. We lost Dublin. No, she's got to be here somewhere. You don't just lose 300 pounds of rampaging bacon. Sure we should. Now look here, you and me go back a long way, Lucy, so it does pain me to say this. But you know the law. Break an egg, go to jail. I tell you, I didn't... But, since how we're old friends and all, I'm just gonna banish you from the farm for all eternity. Oh, fine. 
If that's the way you want to be, who cares? This place was always too noisy anyway. Don't forget to ride. Spot, you missed it. Cadpit got the goods on Lucy. She was the egg napper all along. Lucy? How'd you know? Spot, Dad. I found these all over Lucy's nest. Hmm. My finely tuned detective instincts say there's something funny about these shells. Hmm. <laughs> we need to reassemble the egg to no return. Lucy! A piece left. So this means Lucy's being ready. Yeah, who would do that? What about the other suspects? Cruella's out. Her egg bounces as high as her mood swings. That still leaves one suspect. Dumpling. Where were you the night Cornelia's egg was stolen? Where's that egg shaped figure that was in your sty? I can move it. And why are you eating so much? And what's that little piece of fat the pork of beef? What? I thought she might know. None of your business. What's it to you? Who cares? And Uncle Leo. Now, what is all this here fuss? My dumpling is eating to get ready for the best big farm thing contest next week. Ain't you trying to budge in that ride? Uh -huh. That's it. You felt threatened by Mommy's great A double jumbo, and that's why you took it. I do not have to answer any more questions. Do I, Daddy? Not without counsel, Sugar Plum. <laughs> Big pork chop was guiltier than a raccoon at a garbage can convention. It was time for a stakeout. in our fair community. I also must say that I'm sorry for my hasty actions, Lucy, and I have forbid Dumplin' to participate in this year's Best Big Farm Thing contest. Welcome back, Lucy. Well, for once, I must say, I don't mind this kind of noise. But at least try to sing on key. Hey, ain't she something? You heard the lady. Justice were tipped to, uh, the, the lady scales tipped over and, uh, no, uh, the tipsy lady scaled uh, Is it spot? You're metaphorically challenged. Hey, this is my Irish out. Get your own blazer. 